is I'll take this and loop it that way as we saw before. You want to have that come all the way up and adjust it to where it's lively action. I can get the uh, center as close as I can. I may need to go get some better uh, stock. I'm not going to do this right off. I'll show you in a second. I want you to come in and inaugurate your lathe here. Right, and sing the happy wood turning song as you do, as the tradition demands. I thought it was the body. The, the, the lusty wood turning song. So to start, actually, I aim out that way. In terms of the... Uh, Not enough spring? Yeah. Okay, slide your ring over. And give this another go here. So that shortens the cord. Well, you got the knot there a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, oh, and here's the other thing. You got your foot. Look where your foot is. So your foot was... Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to have your foot right back. Wait. Oh, look. Feel it now. That's too much. Heel of your one foot there, or your instep. Now, see the difference there? So you want maximum travel. If you put your foot in the middle of the stick, you know, you've lost all your leverage. Yeah. Yeah. So see how you've got, got that all going on there. Okay, now let me, get, let me go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm going to ease this off once again. All right, so start about... Uh, start about uh, two inches from the end, say, and we're going to bring it all cylindrical before you do any decorative work. So this is really rough, and you say, oh gosh, this is terrible. How is this going to be nice? How can I possibly do nice work? I'm going to set it level. You see how I'm, I'm just rocking on an uneven floor here. I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, give me something under there. Look at that. All right, that'll last a few seconds. So that, see what's happened? Look here. All right, now that's normal. Remember, we just uh, we've just started, so it's worn its way in. I'm going to tap it back this way and tighten it up. And that's all I need to do. Don't even need to hit the wedge. See, now it's back to uh, running true. All right. So again, once you get it all cylindrical, you start your pattern work uh, and use things like this, the uh, skew chisel, to so plate it down. Uh, you can strike in your patterns and turn turn the hollows and rounds and so forth that make uh, decorative turning. Always cutting from the big diameter down to the small. You see that? So you're always going downhill.
as the wood gets cut more and more, uh -uh, the diameter, of course, is decreasing. So you move the tool rest closer. I would, uh, this is an opportunity, I would have this up higher a little bit more, even the, the tool rest. But that's easy to do. You just shim on underneath it. Put, put a bolt under there. Uh, all right, there you go. That's kind of fun I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, you, you, you would like the uh, tool rest to be the same height? I'd, I'd like it a little higher, yeah. But uh, that's up to you and the thickness of your tools here and stuff. Uh, this, this is doing fine, though. I'm just used to it being higher. I'll put it that way. Okay. He's <laughs> coming in. Now have at it. This is that green wood you wanted. You see how easy this turns, everybody? It's pretty hot. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Cold is anything below 60 degrees. Now, Seth, here you see tragedy about to happen. You've sharpened your gouge. Oh, let me show you about gouge sharpening real quick. And they don't do snow I don't have a 